Hello, my name's Barry. I'm part of the customer success team here at Go Paperless. This short tutorial tells you how to create your Go Paperless digital business card. As you can see, the card creation process is clearly divided into 10 stages. Stage 1 to 4 are mandatory, whilst 5 to 10 are optional. But to maximise impact, we'd recommend completing as many as possible. Stage one is personal details. Click on the upload icon in the center of the image box to find and upload a photograph. A passport photo or headshot would work well here. Remember, it needs to be at least 256 pixels in width and height. Then add your name, job title, email address, and mobile number. Use the flag in the mobile number section to select your country of origin. The correct dialing code is automatically added and the number is in international format, so don't forget to remove the zero from the start. When you're finished, simply click done and move on to the next stage. Remember, you can always return to this page to make any updates or changes. Stage two is social links. Enter URLs in the fields provided to display social links to drive traffic to your LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube pages, or any other social channels you may have. Don't forget to use the checkboxes to ensure that the social media icons appear on your card. Simply uncheck to remove the links. Moving on to stage three, branding. You can opt to have a background color or a background image, or both, as well as an overlay color. Select your color using the color picker, the top colored square. Add a background image by using the cloud icon in the center of the image box. Your image needs to be a minimum of 1,200 pixels wide. This will appear as your background whenever your card is displayed. So it's a good idea to pick something with a high resolution to look professional even on desktops. Avoid text or faces if possible. A colored or textured image is very effective. Choose a color to display over it if you wish by clicking on the colored box. Don't forget to use the checkbox to turn different elements on and off, experimenting with the different effects to create the perfect look for your card. Then add your logo, which will appear at the top of your card by using the cloud icon in the center of the image box. Make sure you use an image that's a minimum of 400 pixels wide. Next, add your icon by clicking on the upload icon. This is the image that represents your card, like the apps on your mobile phone home screen. So we'd recommend using a brand logo. Your icon needs to be a square image with a minimum of 512 pixels width and height. Stage four is styling. Add your business name and tagline. Your business slogan or catchphrase, for example. Then select your font and color. Then choose colors for your primary link buttons, your share buttons, for example, as well as your secondary icons, such as your social links. Just click on the colored square to adjust the colors. Finally, choose a URL for your card. The card URL is unique to your card, so either your name or your business name is a good choice. Once you've published your card, you won't be able to change your card URL. Stage five is where you get to tell everyone about your business. Add your website URL in the field provided. Choose a title for this section and add a description to showcase what you do and the benefits you deliver. Upload files using the upload icon and include as many links as you like to your website or any other web hosted documents. Just copy and paste the URLs into the fields provided. Running an offer or promotion, stage six is where you can enter a URL and link description, as well as picking a title and image to drive engagement. Add your image by clicking on the upload icon and use the checkbox to display your link. Stage seven is news. Here's where to link to your blog, if you have one. Again, you can add URLs, link text, section title, and image. 
Including a video on your card is a brilliant way to showcase your brand, and you can do that in stage eight. Simply add a YouTube URL and give the section a title. Next, use Stage 9's gallery to showcase your products, services, or examples of your work. You can add as many pictures as you like. Just click on the upload icon to add them. Finally, the practicalities. Use Stage 10 to enter your address and business hours. Google Maps will then display your location. And that's it. You're ready to share your card. To find out how to share your card, just visit our learning resource. Go Paperless, a greener way to connect, engage and grow. Thank you for watching.